All right, number nine, yesterday we told you about the last barf bag, a documentary about barf bag collectors. But here's something else you could do with all those barf bags. How about make a coat out of them? Oh. Like this one from Dramamine. It's part of a the same ad campaign as the documentary. The company says its motion sickness drug is so effective it needed to come up with something else for all those barf bags. Of course, only one jacket was created. Maybe it'll inspire you that's to do great. your own thing, but that's kind of yeah. cool. I like it. All right, number eight, you want to bring a little sparkle to your everyday life? Try adding some sequins to your wardrobe. That's right, we said sequins. Yeah. Uh, not a lot. All right, this isn't Saturday night at the club. It's a cubicle, but a sequin skirt on the bottom with a crisp white button down on top. Oh, my yeah. goodness, forget it. You yeah. will be on everyone's radar the minute you walk in so true. that door. And in a good way, because sequins means confidence. That's right. Sequins say, I'm not afraid to stand out. And when I do, that was me yep. snapping. Yeah. yeah. I shine. Yeah, that's right. If the right. skirt's too much, try sequin ballet flats or platforms. You yeah. can start there. Start with a little shoe, a yeah. flat, and then yeah. work your way up. Or oh, loafers yeah. for you yeah. guys, yeah. you know? You don't always have to be subtle, though. No. Sometimes yeah. go full kaboom. Yeah. People. <laughs> they like that. Uh, number seven looks delicious, but that's no ordinary cake. It's a salad cake. What? It's from a company in Japan. The doughy part is made from a gluten-free and low-carb bread made with soy flour. The Yum. rest is made with vegetables cut in place to look like mounds of frosting and cake decorations. Mm, so it's a bait and switch. Yes. You think you're getting dessert and yeah. it's... House Beautiful calls the salad cake savory tarts, but if you're looking for chocolate, it may not make it make the cut. So, mm. yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. All right, number six. Uh, there are some foods that are uh, that are okay to eat after the expiration date, but there are some that should never be eaten, uh, like soft cheeses, ricotta, cream cheese, goat cheese. According to food Jeez. scientists, at the first sign of spoiling or once the expiration date has passed, toss them. Whichever comes first, do not chance it. Jeez. Soft cheeses are more susceptible to bacteria and there's a, that's the general rule to follow. The softer the cheese, the shorter the shelf life. So once you buy them, pay attention. Uh, you've got a max of like two weeks on the cream cheese and one week on ricotta. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, no? I'm, I'm tired of fighting the fight. If people are dumb enough to throw away their soft cheeses a couple days after they've expired, that's on you. Mm -hmm. I'm throwing it. I, I go ahead. I, I throw it Have out a week fun. before the expiration date. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. You got with a stockpile of soft cheeses in your fridge. By I don't the way. have a lot of soft yeah. cheeses, but there's enough in there mm -hmm. that if I'm up for a soft cheese, I'll grab one. <laughs> you? No, not at the moment. You're no. a hard cheese. Yeah. I'm a hard cheese. Yeah. You're hard, you yeah. don't surprise me. You're hard cheese. <laughs> Larry, how about yourself? Yeah, I like hard the hard cheese. cheese. I like the soft cheese. I'll, I'll go cheese either yeah. way. Yeah. That's Only good. once a year, though. Only I'm once a year. year. Right. Let's not be uh, Neanderthals <laughs> here. All right, number five. Here's a clip from a few years back. It's from a soccer game in Thailand. The teams had been in a long back and forth shootout when this kick came. Awesome. <laughs> He's like just the way I planned it. Play to the whistle. Yeah. Oh my wow, gosh. Look at one that. more time. That is Why isn't great. he paying attention to it? Well, he thought that he's a loser and it's all finished. Look at uh, <laughs> that is great. I love it. All right, number four. People who shop at luxury stores are more likely to be jerks. A study in Paris found that people shopping at high-end stores or even just standing outside of them are less likely to help someone in need uh, than those in areas without fancy stores. Researcher, researchers say luxury stores can cause environmental cues of materialism, which then increases self-enhancement and competitive values. Those things can then decrease your concern for the welfare of others. Uh, the luxury store scientists also say that buying things that aren't necessities can easily activate materialistic mindsets. 
Right, number three, the real drama these days is in the school drop-off line. According to recent data, more kids than ever before are getting driven to school. More parents than ever before are working from home. So the lines are long, patience is short, and that's the perfect recipe for chaos. There have been reports of fist fights and other altercations oh, for nice. parents who have dared to cut the line or parents who beep if someone is taking too long to get their kid out of the car. There have been incidents of parents pulling stun guns, even handguns out, all in the name of parking. In West Melbourne, Florida, police posted some quick refreshers for parents. They include just say no to quick chats, don't throw your kid out of a moving vehicle, and remember, you have to pick your child back up, so this is no excuse for day drinking. You know who you are. Here's yeah. a thought. How about letting your kids walk to school like we did? Yeah. Did your kids walk to school? No. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. But I'm not in charge of <laughs> Yeah, you're not in charge of anything at the house. Or anything else. You're in charge of the music and the lighting and yes. yeah. that's about it. The exercise <laughs> right. room. Oh, brother. Yeah, as it should be, uh -huh. especially in your house. Yeah. All right, uh, number two, uh, who needs real life when you can get yourself an AI girlfriend? Oh, brother, here we go again. Yep, tech experts say artificial intelligence created girlfriends will ultimately bring in a billion dollars. One tech CEO says, he knows a man who admitted that he spends 10 grand a month hmm. on AI girlfriends. In fact, there are websites that promise the ultimate AI girlfriend experience, which offers virtual companions for immersive and personalized chats. There are also plans to create AI versions of Match.com. Uh, so know, when you have an AI girl, I, I don't get it. Are you just emailing someone with a picture that looks like you know something someone created and they're sending you or messages you're, from a computer you're maybe yeah. chatting live with them oh is it like they're like animated like an ai yeah, person on the be. computer if you're oh. spending 10 grand a month i hope you're getting some quality interaction yeah what? it's a good question Ooh. would you rather have a, a real girlfriend who's mediocre or right. a fake girlfriend who's stunning yeah and perfect <laughs> that's well. the dilemma <laughs> That's a dilemma. Mike, where are you coming down on that one? Well, there's an elephant in the room that nobody's really addressing. Yeah. Oh, no, I can address it if you want to. I would, I would like that if you did. Uh, that all of the AI girls look exactly the same? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No one looks normal. Well, yeah. we're more interested oh, in the yeah. personalities. Yeah. And, yeah. Their looks don't uh, yeah, really you're matter. You're judging them based on what they look like. That's How dare you? Also, when there's an interactive experience right. I personally would be looking for that an <laughs> AI girlfriend <laughs> cannot provide <laughs> with me. Um, so um, if you say the AI one is, you know, right. better uh, looking, listen. You're spending like 10 grand eyelids, right? <laughs> yes. You're spending 10 grand for conversations. Right. That's a bad situation. Yeah. Might as mm. well, you know. No one's creating an AI a woman in a suit, looks like. It's no. everything. Yeah. <laughs> like, I want the AI CEO. It'd be fascinating <laughs> you know? to see if this thing plays uh, out. How it, oh, it's, no. it's not going to sell. It's absolutely coming. Uh, it's coming. For sure. God. Well, people want, like, real people. I, no. You don't want to go out of your house and walk I around do, with a real person? I do, but a lot person? of people don't. Listen. Do I do. Have you seen these stagehands? Do you think they have girlfriends? <laughs> don't you listen to you, 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 <laughs> Uh, it's all right. You, we better watch it. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, look out, Larry. All right, number one. Later on, uh, Toomey's going to have a list of the worst concepts of a TV show, but not necessarily the worst shows. His list is about the ideas which seemed bad. Well, back in 2012, after Friends ended, one of the producers of the final seasons had an idea for a new show that would become one of the worst reviewed in the history of TV. It was called Work It, and it was canceled after oh just boy. two episodes about two men oh. who must dress as women in order to keep a job in a bad economy. Reviewers said sexist, sexist towards both men and women and hopelessly, painfully unfunny from wire to wire, the kind of bad, dumb show you will use in years to come as a benchmark for other bad sitcoms. It's just like a... Bosom yeah, Buddies. Bosom Buddies. Bosom Buddies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, here's a look at it. Get in here, bro. We've got to get jobs. Women are taking over the workforce. Soon, they'll just start getting rid of all the men. They'll just keep a few of us around as sex slaves. Excuse me. Oh, my God. Help me. Please. a tan line on your ring finger. Divorced. Did he leave you for someone smaller? <laughs> I love your skull heart. Well, thank you. Your ass looks tight in those pants. <laughs> I did 
did get a job. What? Working as a salesman, you know, talking to my regular voice, my genitals just hanging free. Oh, oh my God, Katie, we're going to get to lunch. Want to join us? Who's that woman? I'll be right there. And who's that woman? This was after Friends? You better work. No one is going home until we dance. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. This looks like everybody else will talk about Yeah, you're not wrong about that. Mm. No visible panty lines. This is totally makeable I'm today, too, by the way. No more. I think they haven't learned. Oh, Mike's got more of these coming up. Oh. Wow. wow. That's a nine and nine. Yikes. Hit me, baby.